Hello everyone and welcome back to this new video. In this video, I will be sharing my learning journey and this video is going to be a very special one. If you don't know me, I am Garvit and I have been into web development since almost two years now. I am a full stack web developer, but I'm still learning a few things related to back end web development and the web designing part. So yes, if you want to become a web developer, make sure that you watch this video till the end because in this video, I will be sharing my learning journey. I will be sharing my experiences. I will be sharing all the things that I did, what all mistakes I committed. Some are really horrible ones and I really want that you don't commit those mistakes. How you can utilize all the opportunities that are there and there will be many other things in this video. So make sure that you watch this video till the end. First things first, share your journey. If you are into web development and if you are not active on Twitter, my friend, you are missing out lots of things, which includes learning resources, job opportunities, knowledge, skills, friends, and lots of other things. It is not mandatory that you have to create content on Twitter. You just have to share your learnings. Whatever the things that you are learning that you have learned, just put them out on Twitter. Show it to other people that you are into this thing, right? And along with that, engage with other developers. Make friends. Find out who are into same thing as you and start engaging with them. Read their content start start sending them dms engage with them that is how you learn together and this will really open doors of opportunities for you not just in terms of learnings but also in terms of growth jobs and many other things this is the best thing that you can do for yourself the next important thing that i want you to do is make projects if you are only watching tutorials where you are just seeing instructors code uh, code something and you are just copying and pasting if this is the only thing that you are doing then stop doing it you need to make projects on your own you need to come up with your own ideas where you are implementing all the things that you have learned yes watching tutorials and all those things are necessary to but only to learn the basics once you have learned your basics hop on to making projects if you think that first you have to learn all the things if you have first you have to learn all the all the concepts of a language and then you can start building no this is not the right approach just start building and you can learn along the way the next advice that i will give you all is to invest in a paid course and make the best out of it you know there are lots of free courses on platforms like youtube but the thing is that when you invest in a course, when you invest some money in, into something, you try to make the best out of it. That is a sort of commitment uh, that you do to yourself. And this can be very helpful. Besides that, there are platforms like Skillshare's, uh, Skillshare, Coursera, Udemy, and there are lots of other platforms which charge you a very small amount and the value that you get in return is extremely high. I think I have almost 8 to 10 Udemy courses for almost everything that I have learned, be it HTML, CSS, be it JavaScript, React.js, Next.js, Node, Express, Mongo, uh, or even web designing. I have a course for that. The best part about these paid courses is that they are extremely well structured and, uh, and, uh, and you can really get your basics cleared from these courses. The next very important thing learn to learn yourself because you know all these paid courses or video tutorials will only help you to get your basics cleared but if you can't understand things on your own you will do very little you will progress very little once all your basics are cleared you must start reading official documentation of a library or a framework because that is how you try to understand code on your own and actually in real world scenario you will come across problems and for every problem you just cannot go on to youtube or look for a video tutorial for that problem you will have to solve those problems on your own you will have to read stack overflow 
you will have to refer official documentation so you need to learn on your own the next thing that i really wish someone told me when i was starting to learn or when i was in the in the mid stage of my learning journey that is to try out new things and explore try out freelancing try out open source contributions try out new things don't just run for jobs in companies like fan or mang that is not the only thing as a developer just explore new things come out of your shell and explore some other opportunities the last and the most important thing have patience learning a new skill a new thing take some time you might come across people who will say i got to learn full stack web development in just one month or in just 45 days two months or so that is just not true that is pure bullshit you just cannot learn full stack web development in like two months that is so not true you will have to put in time you will have to put in the efforts you will have to make projects you will have to run into countless errors there will be days when you will like when you will want to just pull the hairs out of your head there will be days when you will be dancing like hell out of joy because you will be solving the toughest problems like in minutes as if sab halwa hai tumhare liye there will be such days as well but it's just that learning things will take time you will have to put in hours you will have to be consistent and you will have to make efforts you just cannot learn full stack web development in like one month 45 days or two months so yes these were a few things that i really wanted to share with everyone some of the things that i did my learnings my experience my mistakes these are a few things that i that i wanted everyone to know about web development and uh, one more thing that i want to add in here is have fun it is okay to stress out sometimes because things might not because things might not go your way it is absolutely okay but in the long run just believe in having fun because my father always says learning is optimized when it is fun so yes thank you so much for watching this video till now and uh, yeah again i will be back again with a new video very soon till then happy learning